Hey, this is René, and today I want to show and explain you the Trend Tracer EA, which is a um, completely automated um, Forex or CFD expert advisor that can trade trends. So, um, how do we define these trends? These trends are defined by highs and lows. So, I run the program here in the strategy tester, and you can already see that it uh, identifies the highs and lows in the market automatically. And we can now um, trade these levels. So we can trade buy and sell trends. So for example, if we find a new trend, we see here, for example, at the very top, we find this high. Then we have a low and a new high, which is below the previous high. So this is what we call a falling high. And we will also see falling lows in a trend. So what we can um, do here now is we can wait. Okay, we can wait until the price drops below this low. Or instead, we can wait for another trend, uh, which is in this case a buy trend. Since we saw a low here. And then the price moved above. Uh, wait, let me show it to you. Above the last high. So now we have this low here. We have this low, so we have um, higher lows, and we have this high. And as soon as the price jumps above this high, we then enter a buy position. And you can see the stop loss is automatically placed at the previous low. And we can now wait if, or, um, uh, if the market hits the TP, which is uh, the, the same distance away from the entry as the stop loss prices. So we can now speed this, uh, speed this up a little bit and you can see the price is coming back a little. We see a new high and we will see a new low, I think. And the stop loss is automatically adjusted and moved to the new low. So we always have the uh, option here to um, trail the stop. And you can see here in this case, we hit the take profit price. So now we can wait until we see a new trend and we see a new trend here. So we have this high, we have this high, so we have falling highs and we have another low here. And when we drop below this low, uh, we then open a new sell position. And again, there's a SL automatically placed and there's a TP. And then we see a new low, a new high, and uh, the stop loss was modified and we hit the take profit again. Um, this works really well in trendy markets as we saw here. But of course, there are always some sideways markets also where we do not see a clear trend. As we can see here, for example, there we entered a new buy trend because there was a buy um, yeah, signal, and then it was just stopped out. So let's wait until we see a new trade. There you can see another sell trade was stopped out. And here we see another win. So I do not want to like um, demonstrate this to you because this is really boring and you can do the same thing that I do here, like all the testing and you can run it um, if you want in the strategy tester with a product, it is free. And also, um, if you're wondering why your test is running slow, um, you should turn off the chart comment, comment, which can be displayed in the upper left corner. You have an option for this in the settings, and this is why we have a look at the settings now. So these are the settings in my strategy tester here, but they look exactly the same if you activate it in a demo or live trading account. So what we can see here is... Um, we have several settings. So first of all, we have the signal settings for the trading signals. Then we have the trade settings for open positions, like for the position management. And we have some more settings. For example, the chart comment that I just talked about, you can turn it on or off. I would recommend turning it off for testing uh, purposes. And you can turn it on if you run the program in a live or a demo uh, account. Then... Um, let's start at the very top with the signal settings. Of course, we can define the time frame that we want to use. So we can choose any time frame that we like. We can also choose the current time frame. Then the program will also, uh, automatically run in the current chart time frame. I would recommend not trading like the very small time frames because this is usually not working due to the high trading costs. But if you trade time frames like the one hour chart or even bigger time frames, 
you might find some good risk reward um, ratios for your trades. Then we have the trigger extremum in a trend. So when there's a new trend, you can decide if you want to trade the very first signal or maybe you just want to trade the second signal or the third or whatever you like. So in this case, if we trade the second signal, this will change like the first trade in a new trend. Also, we can say if we only want to trade like the first signal in a new trend or if we want to trade whenever there's a new breakout above a new high or low. So if we turn this um, uh, to false, we will see a difference. Then we have the depth setting, which is um, important if you want to like say how many highs and lows you want to identify in the market. So if you increase this value, it will show less highs and lows. And if you decrease the value, it will be more sen uh, sensible and it will show more highs and lows. So I will keep it as it is and I will just show you what we change here now. So if I run the test again, you will see um, this was when we traded uh, in the last test, but now we increased like the, let me show it to you again. We increased this trigger extremum in trend value and now it is two. So we will have to wait for another uh, low here and another breakout. So we will see it here. So there's another low and now we trade this breakout because now we have two um, higher lows. So this is the like initial low, then we have one higher low and another higher low. And with the breakout above the previous high here, we will then enter the buy position and the rest is pretty much the same. So, um, but yeah, I changed some more things. For example, here we have the sell signal, which was again triggered after the second falling high. And you can see with the next signal, we enter a trade again. And this is because I changed the next parameter here, which is trade first signal and trend only. And I changed the value to false. So now we will trade um, every signal in a trend. Um, yeah, so this is it for these settings. So now it's, let's have a look um, at, um, yeah, I can leave it as it is here. Let's have a look at the next setting. So we have the trade settings, we have the volume, and uh, the trading volume, we can either choose a fixed volume, then we will trade with a lot size that we enter here, or we can trade with a volume in percent, which means that we can enter a percentage of our account here. And the expert advisor will then take the distance from the entry price to your stop loss level and it will automatically calculate the lot size so that if you hit your initial stop loss, you will lose 1% or 0.5 or 1.5% of your account balance. Then we can decide if we want to use a take profit or if we do not want to use a take profit. This is also a possible option, of course, if you just want to work with the trailing stops. So I can say, for example, I want to have a TP factor of three, which means that we take the distance from the entry to the SL, multiply it with the TP factor three, and then add this value um, to uh, on top of our entry price to uh, calculate the take profit or if you're just at zero you will not place any take profit and you can just work with the trailing stops we have two trailing stop options here first of all we have the trailing stop that adjusts at the highs and lows this was the one that was active before but i can also turn this off and then only work with the um, normal trailing stop loss if I want so. So here I can say, for example, after 100 points, when my um, position is 100 points in profit, I want to have a trailing stop with a distance of 20 points. This is, um, the stop is then dragged like behind the current bid or ask price. And then we have the step, um, the TSL step points setting where we can, um, yeah, define in which um, steps the trading stop should be adjusted. So these are the trade settings and we will have another quick run with these settings now. But first of all, let's have a look at these more settings here. We can say a, we want to add a order comment, maybe trend EA. This is the commentary that is put for every order on uh, and position that this EA opens opens and then we have a magic number. The magic number is important if you run multiple EAs in your account. In this case, you should choose a different magic number for every single EA because 
uh, this can be used by the EAs to like separate their trades from the trades of the other EAs. And then uh, last but not least, we have the chart comment. Um, yeah, I talked about this before, so we will leave it as it is here for testing. So let's run another test and we should now see that we increase the lot size and we also see a, um, a TP, which is um, uh, like uh, far away from the entry now. And we also see that we do not use this high and low trading stop, but instead we will use the trading stop that is um, measured in points. So let's wait here until we see the first trades. And of course the trades are always the same because we're testing the same period here in the strategy tester. So we will whoops, see this buy trade here. This was a little bit too fast. It already hit the trading stop, but we would see another sell trade here, whoop, which also hit the trading stop like really fast. I think I should increase like the trading stop loss distance, but yeah, you can see like, yeah, let me increase the distance here. So we can actually see something. Maybe we want a trailing stop in a 100 point distance once it is activated. So yeah, what we will see now is that the trade, uh, trades will yeah, use this trading stop loss to be closed. And we can also ha have a look at the uh, TP now again. Um, yeah, this didn't work for the first trade, but, but let's have a look at the second trade. Um, I'm always like too fast here. Yeah, I think the distance is still like not um, big enough because in the one hour chart, it seems to trigger the trading stop loss like really quick. So let me just increase um, the points here one more time and then we should see the trading stop now. So I increased the trading stops uh, stop points to 300 now. So whoops, there was a trade. Okay, it was still not fast enough, but for the sell trade and uh, let's have a look here. So what we can see now is um, first of all, the TP is now very far away from the entry price. So we have the chance to um, generate bigger profits. And also we should see if this uh, trade runs into the profitable area for 300 points. And then we should see that the trading stop is trailed in a 300 points distance from the current price. So you can see this is exactly what happens here. So we can now, um, yeah, like see if the price will fall down further and maybe hit or take profit or if we will be stopped out in the stop loss in the trading stop. Yeah, in this case we were stopped and then we will have to wait for the next trade. And this is pretty much what the program does. So you can see it's really cool. It can uh, generate trend trades automatically by using these highs and lows. And um, yeah, just go ahead. I uh, uploaded this program to the MQL5 market for free. So you can download it and test it for any uh, symbol and any time frame and with all the possible settings that you like. So I hope that you like this project and it's uh, it would really help me if you could uh, leave a five star rating if you uh, appreciate it that I put this program out for free. So um, yeah, let me know what you think about the program and uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.